Hey guys, how you doing? This is Salma here. Hey, I got an article here. It's saying uh, they found four uh, underground volcanoes underwater, and they believe it's going to separate um, Australia and New Zealand apart. Here's more on the article. Did these volcanoes tear Australia and New Zealand apart? Discovery of 50 million year old caldera reveals clues. Four volcanoes found in a cluster 125 miles, 200 kilometers, off coast of Sydney. Researchers found the ancient underwater formation by accident. Cluster is 12 miles, 20 kilometers, long, 4 miles, 6 kilometers wide and rises 230 feet, 700 meters. Experts believe they tell part of the story of how Australia and New Zealand separated between 40 and 80 million years ago. Researchers have discovered four extinct underwater volcanoes thousands of feet below the water off the coast of Sydney. The calderas are believed to have formed 50 million years ago when supercontinent Gondwana was splitting up into the regions we now know as Australia and New Zealand. And this quartet of potheads may offer geologists clues about how exactly this tectonic movement took place. Scientists from the University of New South Wales, Australia were searching for nursery grounds for larval lobsters when the sonar images spotted the volcanoes 16,100 feet 4, meters, underwater. The four extinct volcanoes in the cluster are called eras, which form after a volcano erupts and the land around them collapses, forming a crater. 3,000 meters, missing important geological features like the calderas, but the investigator can map the ocean to any depth. Single quote THE ship is constantly mapping the seafloor as it travels, opening up a previously undiscovered and unknown world, explained Ciro. Professor Richard Aculus from the Australian National University said these particular types of volcanoes are really important to geoscientists because they are like windows into the seafloor. Facebook and Twitter you can visit us on www.therealthingmean.webs.com.